All right, I'm just gonna call it. That's it. I believe this is the end of Faraday Future FF91, uh, which only had a couple of years to live, unfortunately, mainly in our hearts and our imagination. Um, the Now, the company might still survive or be bought by um, either wholly by, by another automaker or, or maybe just some of their IP, but there's just two sad of the news that are coming out of Faraday Future. I mean, I reported last week that they were uh, running out of funds because of yet another dispute with their CEO. And time, you know, by the way, the, the cause of that is incompetence because the team was amazing. As a matter of fact, they were able to hire some extra people after kind of once they got their money uh, from uh, from their new investor this year. Um, and, and now one of their main people, as a matter of fact, a lot of people call him kind of a, a backbone. He's not the CEO. The CEO is that YT guy who's who's just been an awful. I can't believe when the company invested um uh, the Evergrande company invested this year into Faraday. They didn't like kick him out, but uh, you know. So uh, Peter uh, Savigan, uh, he was originally chief engineer of uh, GM's EV1. Um, obviously, made a good reputation in the electric car space, and so he was kind of a backbone of this company. He was one of the engineering executives and. He left, he, you know, and, and, and people say when this guy left, if, if this guy is leaving, this is probably the end. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what else they can do. And here's what I think how everything's going to go. So um, uh, l let me tell you what I think is going to happen from now on. Before that, of course, I want to mention that this video and this show uh, is sponsored by the Climate Exchange, the nonprofit organization. They are running a pretty cool raffle. Uh, only no more than 4,000 tickets will be sold. Um, the tickets are $250, but they're raffling off three different Teslas. So think about it. Three Teslas, 4,000 uh, tickets. Probably one of the better odds I've seen in a while. Uh, and even if you don't win, uh, you would still be doing a great deed uh, contributing to this nonprofit organization, moving us all forward to a low carbon economy. Uh, the description of this video has the link where you can uh, get more information and also buy your tickets. All right, so back to uh, the sad story. Uh, here's what I think is going to happen. Um, you know, the car was announced in uh, January at 2017 at CES. It, it actually had a lot of talented people on their on their team. Um, unfortunately, after that, they started running out of money and they were almost dead at the end of last year. They finally got an injection of cash uh, from this Chinese company that, that, that believed in them. The total amount they committed to was $2 billion. But just like with any investor, you kind of have to hit the badge, you know, certain uh, milestones and deliver stuff. Now, after uh, and, and Faraday Future started to really produce, they did, they, they've created production, uh, a prototype. They were really going to actually go in production uh, at the end of this year. There was a lot of good news. They they figured out all the suppliers. They had their little factory going. So things looked pretty damn good. And uh, boom, all of a sudden they said, you know what? Uh, we spent all of this money. Give us more. And the uh, the investors were like, well, what do you mean give us more? You guys were supposed to already be in production by the time we give you more money. So anyway, back and forth, back and forth, this dispute went to, uh, so so they said, no, we're not going to give any more money. Uh, the company went to court in China and won. Uh, but what they won is was essentially for them to go and seek other investors um, because, you know, Evergrande said, forget it, we're, we're done. Um, and uh, I... At this point, I don't see how anybody else in their right state of mind actually will go and invest in this company that, you know, pretty much flatline, you know, twice now. And with this guy being the CEO. Now, I think this is the biggest mistake that the, the current investors have made is that just keep the guy. He was obviously in trouble so much in China, owning all of this money, uh, you know, bankrupting all his companies. Some of them are his. Um, having all these accounting problems um, and, and so that he can't even go back to China. He's blacklisted there. He lives here in the United States now. So how do you keep that guy? I don't know. Um, and so I think that was that was pretty much the biggest mistake they have made. Um, and now that the last talented people are running out of the company and they also had layoffs and they're cutting the salaries and it's a mess. The company, it looks like is going to die. But even if even if somebody else buys it or whatever, this car is just not going to see the light of day. Uh, let's say Ford or Toyota buys it. They're not going to be interested in, you know, actually producing this car because this technology is like what is going to be a hundred forty thousand dollar car. They'll probably take the best parts of the technology and, uh, and, and, and kind of make it work for their own, um, you know, lower priced electric cars. Um, and that's probably how some parts of this is going to survive. Um, 
restarting this whole thing you know it will make this car even more outdated because they're already what two years behind in their plans um you know yeah but but there is good technology that's what i'm like i'm almost angry at these guys because there was some good technology this car was supposed to i mean they're supposed to compete with tesla but i don't even care about that i i just care about another good choice um of um of, of of an electric vehicle with exciting technology so um yeah and, and by the way even let's say this goes in production would you buy a car that's made by a company that's been almost out of business twice i wouldn't you know it's just way too risky because what says that they're not going to go bankrupt finally for the third time and then and i will waste all of my money right so I, I'm just going to, just like I said, I'm convinced that there's, this is it for, for fair day future, uh, made rest in peace. Uh, I mean, just lots of great dreams and hopes died along with it, but I hope the people who worked there and contributed, um, are actually going to move on to other projects. I know they will, um, their talents are probably going to be very much appreciated in many other projects. Um, so I'm looking forward to what they are going to create. Now, I saw a slide here fly by, by the way. If you guys want to see some of the behind the scenes footage uh, and videos that I do and some just stuff in my personal life, go ahead and go ahead and uh, uh, follow me on Instagram. And one of the things that I'm going to post on Instagram is from the, the event I'm going to tomorrow here in Sacramento. This, um, as you know, Electrify America is a company that uh, was created out of this uh, uh uh, diesel gate that Volkswagen had to um, distribute some billions of dollars um, to electrify America. And uh, they're building the, the fast charging network kind of to rival um, supercharging network of Tesla, but they're also doing other projects. And this is one of them uh, being unveiled for the first time. This is essentially a car sharing service uh, where it's kind of like a zip car where you can get to some locations. They're trying to do it at the apartment complexes where you can grab an all electric car, use it, and then bring it back to one of the um, uh, one of the locations. Uh, as a matter of fact, that, that's where the unveiling is going to be tomorrow. Uh, the apartment complex, I'll be there. I'll probably streamline here on uh, YouTube. Check it out. Might be talking to the mayor of uh, Sacramento. That would be kind of cool. Obviously, going to try to catch a representative from Electrify America and talk about their fast charging network progress that they've been making. Very excited about that. So check it out. Follow me on Instagram there. And of course, I want to say thank you to uh, one of my Patreons. Normally, I, I, I welcome a new Patreon, but Michael has been a Patreon for a while. And now he's actually upped his donation to five times as much as the highest tier is which is only five bucks so he's uh he's uh, up his to 25 dollars thank you so much michael as you guys know that this is the way um me who just went full-time here on youtube uh get supported and also um you know you guys get a lot of perks of course first ones to see my videos live have an extra segment for you guys uh to enjoy and and, and a lot of a lot of different access and conversations that you're having with me that are shaping this show as well so um uh, one more thing uh, every sunday i've decided i'm going to go live on youtube and have a subscriber hangout so if you haven't subscribed to this channel go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward including the live hangouts it was fun uh, last time which was sunday and i think i'm going to do it on sunday again all right guys thank you so much for watching i will see you next time and remember to stay charged